Um, so I want to encourage us to check out this when you get time. But I want to look at this one verse just really because this is what the Holy Spirit pointed out to me. It's why we even went to study this verse this morning, this chapter. He said, now the Lord is that spirit. You see, we have a lot of spirits that are operating today. But see, there's a distinction about that spirit, hallelujah, oh, the Holy Spirit, because he is the one that gives life. See, these other spirits can't give life. They don't give hope. They don't give peace. There's no joy. You know, he comes with those, uh, the, the, the fruit of the spirit and love, joy, peace, long suffering, goodness. Faith. Those other spirits don't give that. And then the verse said, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Hallelujah. See, those other spirits don't give, but that spirit does. Oh, he gives freedom. He gives freedom. He brings freedom. He comes and breaks bondages. He breaks yokes. He breaks the power of the enemy. He comes and breaks off everything that's not like the most high God off our life. So we got to make sure sure that we have the right spirit, the right spirit we're accessing uh, and we're looking for and we're seeking after the right spirit. Uh, and that spirit is the Holy Spirit. Uh, he is the spirit of the living God. Uh, and he comes and he takes up a residence on the inside uh, and begins to guide us and lead us into all truth. Uh, he shapes us. Uh, he transforms us. Uh, he puts his glory on us. Uh, and so we need to uncover and expose the glory that's in us so the freedom and the hope that's in us others can see and others can partake of. Huh? Make sure that you are pursuing the right spirit huh? because the spirit of the Lord, huh? he is that spirit. Huh? Hallelujah.